Right. Here we are at Seabrook Point. And the scene behind me is at this historic uh, marina called Seabrook Point. Uh, and it's a beautiful November day in Old Seabrook, Connecticut. And I think this, this scene would make a great painting, don't you? I think we should get started right away. What a day. Let's go. Okay, so we've got the pencil drawing done over here. As you can see, uh, the scene in front of me is this beautiful lighthouse and building right on the pier here in Saybrook Point. And now that I've got that pencil drawing, I'm going to get started on doing the first wash. I'm going to do this in three steps. First wash, second wash, and then third would be dry brush. So let me get a brush out, we'll get a nice mop brush, and we're going to start with the sky background first. So I'll pick up some cerulean blue for that. Because Connecticut, we have a lot of that going on. Cerulean blue is a, really kind of a Connecticut sky. I'm just going to put that in. Sometimes I wet the paper beforehand. This time, I'm not going to do that. I'll leave a few white spots open to indicate clouds. You don't have to do much at this sky today. So when I get down to towards the, the horizon, I'll weaken that a little bit so you got some dimension. So I'll leave this bead here, leave it wet down here, and I'll bring this down to... Let's, let's put a little darker in the corner here, maybe a little bit. So we have a little bit. You can see, because that will dry lighter, so. Right through the house there. There we go. That'll look better once, now that that's in there. I don't know, I'll take this down with a different brush. Uh, we'll come in and do um, the red color that's in that. that uh, building and I'll, I'll add a little light red to cadmium red to make it not so bright color maybe a little blue to that to gray it down a bit it's not so gaudy so a little blue to the cadmium red will just bring that right down into here like that and that'll be our roof over here Blend with the sky a little bit, and that'll, that'll make a nice soft edge. Perfect. And then underneath that's kind of a donkey gray, so we'll get a burnt sienna mixed with a French ultramarine to create that. Yeah, so we'll just add that in there and just bring that down like that. window. There we go. Don't want to be too perfect with that. And come down here. It's a little darker down here, so we'll just add a little more color, a little more gray to that. And bring that down. There's a window here. And there we go. And then there's the dock. We'll bring that right into the dock. Okay. And that's, we're going to extend that. Now that it's still wet, while it's still wet, we can add some things. And right in here, I'm just going to come in and connect that house with the, the dock below. See that? Got to watch out here. We've got a boat we want to go around a little bit, I think. Come around the boat. This is our first wash. So I'm trying to stay out of the way of this so you can see what I'm doing. And that's going to be this section here. While that's still wet, I can come in with some alizarin crimson and cobalt blue. That's way too much crimson. So come over the side here and just going to drop that in right in there like that. Even though it doesn't extend over on the side of the building, I'm going to put it in there anyway. So there you go there. The water down below here is kind of a turquoise. Or, uh, uh, very 
bluey cerulean, almost like the sky. I'll make it a little bit different right in here. Come in here with that. And that's a little too dark, so we can wet that down. And then come in here. That's that. Careful of the boat here. Come in with more of that blue in here. And come right through here like that. Let that bleed, intermingle. Look at that. It's gonna let that all mix together nicely here. There we go. Boom. And as we get closer, we'll get darker as we get closer to the foreground. So I'm going to go right over the side. Right over. Get some more of that cerulean in there. Put that in there. It's kind of a breezy, cool day today, so it's drying quickly. Put, start putting some darker blues in there. And that's going to had recession and some interest. They look at how nice they, those two go together. Huh? And work quickly here in this point here. Go some, some cobalt blue come down in here. We go around this boat. There we go. Kind of went around that boat, didn't I? Well, we'll fix that later. Not worried about it. Coming in here, just ride over all this stuff here. And darker yet up in the foreground I can mix them I you know I'm gonna go right over that boat because I messed it up so we can do that it's easy if we add some burnt sienna cobalt blue we'll even get a really darker blue up front here nice and this is gonna create recession in the paint okay right here like that kind of blend it a little bit and that's going to be our first wash and we'll let that dry see something here I want to fix over here maybe there we go I don't want to fiddle too much with that um, later on we'll add the shadowing and everything alright so we'll take a few minutes and let this dry and we'll be back to do the second wash. Okay, so here we are back at Saybrook Point here, in this beautiful setting. First wash is dry, relatively anyway, so I can come in and do a second wash. Let's start out with Lighthouse right here, the focal point. We'll mix some of this. Payne's gray, and we're gonna put that right in here and I don't want to get too fiddly with this there we go I'm just gonna come down in here I'm not talking to myself for filming All right and then we'll continue that as a shadow Beautiful cast shadow here. Right down in there like that. And we'll go around some of these. Like that. There we go. Nice cast shadow. Over here. Darker on this side. I want to take some color out over here. It's a little too strong. We'll just wet that with water and come in and take some of that out. Then we have a contrast from the bottom half of the building. To the top half. And there's a little cast shadow there I want to put in there. We we'll use that same color. We want to be consistent with our shadowing color. I'm going to paint it right under here to show some. There we go. And that's this nice shadow right under there. That's going to bring some depth into that building. Okay. And then it's darker here, so we'll come in here like that. That gives some depth. And underneath, we'll use that same kind of color. You can't see what I'm mixing with the sunlight the way it is. Really juicy dark like that. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Come right up to the boat. And be careful around the boat a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get some darks in there. There you go. Look at that. Now that's going to bring out the boat. And while I'm at it, 
I'll put some of those poles in. We've got poles everywhere with real quick brush strokes. Like that and stagger them. They come right into the water like that. Make them crooked. Don't make them all perfectly straight. That's no good when you do that. Just one stroke is all you need. Boom. Boom. See that? One stroke. Went into the boat there a little bit. That's all right. We got a couple maybe that are coming off in here. And maybe we'll make a one over here. There you go. And these come below a little bit. So we want to come below there. And that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so let's, we can even go darker. Let's go juicy dark. Don't be afraid of the dark, as I always say to my students. And I think that's the biggest thing I notice with my students is they're afraid to put the darks down because it seems so permanent. And how am I going to ever fix that, they say. And uh, I understand their concern. But stop. Stop it. Just get used to it. Notice how I'm holding them. A lot of times I'm holding the brush near the end. Whatever you could do that, it's, it's a good idea. It makes it looser strokes, much nicer to look at. It makes that sit nice. We're gonna, since we have this already, there's a boat over here, we can do that too. Even though I didn't paint the boat yet. We can put that in there like that. This one too. Real quick brush strokes here. Like that. Put the reflections in here. This little S shapes is all you need here. This is a good brush. This is an Escoda Pearl up. This is what I'm using here. This paper is Saunders. I usually use arches, but I wanted to try it out. I do like arches a little bit better than the Saunders. But too much, my, in my opinion, that Saunders puts too much wax in their, um, on their blocks. This is a block here. And it, um, it kind of, it's hard to get the paper off, you know, when I go to get the paper off. What the heck's this over here? Oh, that's going to be the boat that I just... <laughs> okay, so I just painted over the boat. We can fix that. Let's make that boat, boat dark color, mysterious dark color. There's a boat out there that's got a cobalt blue to it. Let's just make it that color right here. We'll get it in there. There we go. Nice and juicy. There we go. There. Do some other things with that in a minute. This other boat here, we'll, we'll keep it white, but we'll, what we'll do is we'll wet it down first. And then I'll add shadow in there. The light's coming from the left to the right, so shadow will diminish as we get towards the left hand side to create a little feeling of dimension in, in, the, in the boat. So uh, this boat has bottom. They have a lot of them have this bottom color to it. So I'm going to use, since we have red splattered about, let's use red for bottom, our bottom coat of this boat. We'll just mix that in while it's still wet. And that makes a nice bleed. We need some more. Give a minute. is going to be darker over here because we get the light coming in on the, on the right hand side okay so that's going to create a little dimension there I want to put a little dark in here to indicate where 
Okay, that kind of indicates where the inside of the boat is. Okay, I'm just going to put some darks in here, establish windows. Down. Rooftop a little bit like that. I right hear there's some kind of there's always some kind of paint up there, isn't there? Put the darkest darks in right now. This is the final stage when we do the darkest darks. One thing about windows when you're doing windows, you want to use like a brownie color. You don't want to get too worried about being perfectly square. We're just going to indicate. There's that town dock right at the edge of the lake that we could, uh, there's always something there. So just a quick brush stroke will do that. So here we go. It's starting to come together. I think I'll put a little dark line down here to help bring this boat sitting on top of the water. Uh, this boat needs a little bit of help. I don't know about that line. I think that out of there. I didn't like that line. Okay, so we get reflections. We get some darks. I think I'm going to go in the background here. Give that some more depth. So I'll wet that with water. I want soft edges right above where I'm going to go. And I'll come in with some violets for that. Violets or grays would work just fine. And I'm going to mix some yellows in there. And the yellows will make it look like there's some shrubbery going on, some trees in the background. I'm just going to drop it in while it's wet. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. So we'll make a nice violet. Let's see, I need some blues here. There we go. I'm going to drop that in like that. Give that some more. And I put that water up above to get the soft edges. And I can do the same below. I'm going to put it over here as well. Even though it's not in the picture on that side, I'm putting it in anyway for continuity. So now I want to put this, I don't want this to be so hard edged. Just add some water in there. And I'm going to drop some yellows in there. So I'll take some yellow ochre and just every now and then just drop it in. And that gives the indication of like some kind of trees, you know going on there. Okay. Just a few of them. And that's all you need there. Um, anything else we need to do in this painting we'll do back in the studio. Uh, this is about done. Um, and usually that's what I do. I do about 90% out, out of doors. And then when I get into uh, the studio I'll do the last 5 or 10% this painting I think I'll sign it we'll call it a day today so let's see I think I'll sign it on this side here and that's the name of that tune happy painting see you in the next